In this video, I'm going to show you a product page with multiple products displayed. If you click on one, um, there's a product detail page shows up as a light box effect with the background grayed out. And with drop down box, this is for color and quantity, when add to cart and back to the product page. In Azure, we have this product page with just some images of the products. So we would like to first of all build a dynamic panel underneath that shows the product detail of one of the products. Let's resize it to be bigger. And then let's um, fill out with product details in the state one. So be really careful you're not really adding the form elements on top of the dynamic panel, but really you're editing inside the state. So double click on state one. First of all, there's a product image that's like bigger. And then there's a description. So we use some um, fake text. Then we need some drop down. One for the color, the other one for the quantity. We're going to need the label. So then I need to add a button to add to cart. And just resize it to fit. So now for the drop down list for color, I have white and black. For quantity, I have one, two, three. One thing to do on this state is to add a interaction when user click on add to cart, we come back to the product page. Okay. One more thing is that we would like to add some um, background color with the box. Then we want to fit the size of the dynamic panel and send to back. Okay. So now back to the product page, we have this um, dynamic panel, we can name it as product details. And the style, at first we want it to be hidden when the page first loads. Now we're ready to um, add interaction to one of this product. Um, thumbnail. So highlight an image and then we can add interaction on click effect. First of all, we would like to move that uh, dynamic panel to kind of top and center spot. So click on move and select the product details dynamic panel. Uh, you kind of need to test and try where the location you want it to appear. So um, I test a couple times I want this location. Um, also, I would like to set the dynamic panel to be the default first state with all the drop down list and submit button. One more thing is that to uh, show as a light box, this is a little bit tricky. It took me a while to find out where it is. So under the widgets, show hide select the product details dynamic panel and underneath here where it says more options select treat as a light box okay let's test out now on this product page if you click on the first product thumbnail a light box showing the product details with the color drop down 
and the quantity drop down, add to cart, we're going back to the product page.